I'm single walking this dog It's like I live in a fog Tonight I don't want something new I feel the need to get rude I'm tired of watching the tube Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. We are getting so much done in today's video. I started off the day just feeling very productive. I kind of just woke up in that kind of mood and I was really wanting to capitalize on that because it is very rare for me to want to start my cleaning first thing in the morning. I did end up cleaning on and off throughout the entire day and I cleaned almost my entire house which felt so good at the end of the night. We are starting the day off by just stripping my bed and getting the sheets and the duvet cover in the washing machine and then we will be moving on into the kitchen. I had already been grocery shopping earlier in the morning because like I said it was just one of those types of days where I was just wanting to get everything done and I was waiting for Quinn to go down for her first nap to get the rest of my pantry groceries put away so now that she is asleep that is the first thing that we are going to be tackling in here. A new place, a new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. I have been getting quite a few new subscribers here on my channel over the last month or so, so I did want to start today's video off by saying thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel, whether this is your very first video here or if you have been here since day one or anywhere in between. I am just so thankful and I am very happy to have you here. If you are brand new to my channel, my name is Aaliyah and I am a wife and a mom of three young kids aged five and under. I have one son and two daughters and I do post new cleaning motivation videos every single Friday here on my channel. So if that is something you are interested in, definitely make sure you subscribe down below before you leave so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Whether you watch my videos to get some cleaning motivation or to help motivate you to tackle a task that you may be struggling to get done, or if you just like watching and feeling like you're cleaning with a friend, I hope you enjoy my videos and my content. I would also love if you would follow me over on Instagram as well. I share a lot more of my daily life, home updates, and my family life over there. It is just at Aaliyah Martins on Instagram, and I will have that linked down below as well. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky There was quite an accumulation of grease on my hood fan. As you can see, it was actually dripping off of here. I'm not going to be deep cleaning this area today, but I did want to give it a quick cleanup to get all of the grease drips off of here. I am using the Method All-Purpose Cleaner for this as it is great for cutting grease and I'm just wiping it down with a cloth. I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way actually kind of over the summer scents when it comes to candles this year so I'm going to be diving into my fall stash and I'm going with my go-to favorite pretty much year round which is the cinnamon spice vanilla candle from Bath and Body Works. This candle smells so good and I highly recommend it. One, two, 
keep it nice and clean Not freak out and cause a scene I try to hold it together Keep it together Not sure who I really am Just be cute and super bland I try to hold it together Keep it together Been playing it down But I'm so getting tired Now won't you meet Speaking of being over summer scent, I kind of feel like I am a little bit over summer in general this year and I know a lot of you probably think I'm absolutely crazy and do not get me wrong, I love the summertime. It is my favorite season. I love the hot weather and the longer days and being able to wear shorts, but I don't know what it is about this year, but I just feel like I am ready for the fall time. I absolutely love September. I love the routine. September brings. I am the type of person who very much thrives on routine and I just am kind of excited to get back into that. I will have two kids in school this year. Grayson will be going to kindergarten. He will be going two to three times per week just depending on the week and Rowan will be going to preschool two mornings each week as well. So I will have a little bit of a routine with them and then Quinn will be home with me and I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. Is it something about this year or is it just me? Let me know down in the comments if you are kind of itching for the fall time as well or if you just think I'm nuts and wish summer would last forever. There is nothing worse in the kitchen than a dirty sink in my opinion and mine was definitely disgusting this day. There were so many dishes in it. I was happy to get those in the dishwasher so I was able to just do a really good deep clean of my sink. There is nothing worse than wet soggy food in a sink. It grosses me out so badly so I scooped all of that out with a wet paper towel and then I'm just going to go in with my Dawn Power Wash dish spray to scrub this out with my brush. I'm a mess Don't know how I got here but I'm blessed Didn't know it take me past my destiny You're behind me with the rest Cause I'm a mess No My dishcloth and dish towel drawer was completely empty so I did run these through the washing machine last night so I'm just going to quickly get these folded and put away.
I have been needing a new stick vacuum for quite a while now, so I was really excited to get my hands on the new Tinko Pure One S15 Pet Cordless Vacuum. Just like my other Tinko products, this vacuum has the smart eye loop sensor that changes from blue to red when there is debris detected. The suction power also automatically adjusts based on the amount of dirt detected, which prolongs the battery life and has a four times longer runtime. I will also include a quick clip here here so you can hear the suction power change as there is notice debris and pet fur on the floor. This vacuum really focuses on no hair entanglement. It has a new brush design with V-shaped bristles and a dual comb, which means hairs get lifted and vacuumed without tangling around the roller brush. This zero tangle technology is simple and effective, and I knew my stairs was the perfect place to try this out. I have so much pet fur accumulation, and I will show you after vacuuming all this up that there was no entanglement around the bristles. The S15 does also come with multiple different attachments, which makes areas like your stairs very easy to vacuum. I have also used the attachments on areas like my sofa, my dog beds, I've used them in my vehicle, and even my fabric headboard. There is also a very easy cleanup with this vacuum as it does have a one touch trigger which wipes the dustbin clean, avoiding the need to touch any part of the dustbin or the dirt that has been sucked up. The S15 powerfully separates air and dust to avoid pre-filter clogging or suction loss which makes it so you get a strong and fade free suction power. And a few other features I love about this vacuum is that it does have a free standing charging base so you don't have to drill it into your wall or lean it against anything, you can just have it right in the charging base and it does also come with a washable and magnetic filter for easy maintenance. You guys know I am a huge fan of Tinko and I am constantly impressed with their line of products and this vacuum is no exception. So if you are wanting to purchase the S15 Pet Cordless Vacuum for yourself, I will leave the link and all of the information down below in the description box. And thank you so much to Tinko for sponsoring today's video. Uh, I'm a sucker for you. As you can see, we are now upstairs getting started in the bedrooms and we are going to be starting off in Rowan and Grayson's shared room. It may not look too bad on camera, but I have not cleaned in here in probably about two weeks, so it was in desperate need of a really good dusting and vacuuming. I know I have mentioned quite a few times that we are planning switching the kids rooms around and we are still going to be doing that. That is probably one of the number one questions I get asked recently is when we are going to be doing the room swap because I did originally say we were planning on doing that in the summer, but spur of the moment, we did decide to do the concrete patio outside in our backyard. So that is taking up all of our extra money and time right now. So I think once that is finished, probably by the next couple weeks I'm hoping Justin has almost done all of the prep work and then we can start pouring the concrete which like I said we are hiring people to come in and do that because that is just not a job we want to take on once that is complete we will start moving on to the next project which I think is going to be the kids rooms I am just wrapping up the office the hold up on that is I ordered a rug it didn't fit in the space so now I'm on the hunt for another rug that I like and then I think that room is finished 
and then we will be moving on to the bedrooms. Like I said, we just have a ton of things on the go all at one time, and I do have the three kids at home, so things do take me a little bit longer than I would like them to, but I promise the room swap is coming, and I am really excited to start tackling it. I wanted to quickly share this clip of old man Zeke here. He is 10 years old this day. It was his birthday on July 17th, which was the day I was filming this video. And he is just so sweet and such a good boy, but he is getting so gray on his little face and it makes me sad when I see them getting a little bit older. We did get both of our dogs when we were 18 years old. I purchased Roscoe the week after Justin and I bought our first home when we were 18. And then three months later we got Zeke to keep Roscoe company while we were going to college in September and the rest is history they are best friends they both turned 10 this year and they are only three months apart and they have just grown up with us so they're super special and they are my first little fur children I think a video in the next couple months is definitely going to be a playroom deep clean and declutter. It has been quite a while since we moved the couch out so I could clean underneath there. Quinn is also starting to grow out of some of the baby toys so I can finally get rid of some of those after the last five years. I am really excited to start cleaning and decluttering and scaling down when it comes to the toys. I also of course have to go through the big kid area which is this half with all of the storage units. I want to go through each each bin, dump them out and reorganize them. I feel like they have gotten so messed up over the last couple months and it's just a project that I keep putting off but I really need to tackle. He got me high above Like the sun by the moon He's a star, baby I'm lighting up Like a fool, it's true, it's true He's making me blow my mind and I can't stand the thought of being without us I'm being honest, y'all, I'm being honest We just do what we do, ain't no joke about love He's the one that I die for Can't long side by side, can't believe that he is mine We just do what we do, I love my 
am starting to plan out my videos for the next month or two and I would love to hear from you all on what you would like to see more of here on my channel. Do you enjoy just the cleaning videos? Would you like me to incorporate more decluttering and organizing or maybe deep cleaning specific rooms for videos? I would love to know because of course I want to film what you all want to see so let me know down below what you would like to see more of here on my channel. You make me feel like old The type of fire that burns from within Shining like I'm made of gold I shine, I shine, it's true He's making me jump from high ground Keeps catching me every time I fall He got me safe and sound Safe and sound We just do what we do Ain't no joke about love He's the one that I die for Cancel along side by side So my bedding was washed and dried and ready to go back on the bed but before remaking my bed I did want to get the rest of my bedroom cleaned so I'm just gonna go through and clean off my dresser and the nightstands I had a couple of Justin shirts here that I just had to fold and put away and then we're also going to be dusting and polishing all of the wood furniture and then vacuuming I can't stand the thought of being without us I'm being honest, y'all mm, yeah. He's making me jump from high ground Keeps catching me every time I fall He got me safe inside Justin and I started Stranger Things on Netflix a couple of days ago. I feel like we are way behind on the Stranger Things bandwagon and I like it so far. We are only four episodes in and it is taking a little bit for me to get into it. Sci-fi kind of shows and movies that usually aren't my thing but I'm really giving this a fair chance because I have heard great things about this series and I really want to like it because Justin is enjoying it and I always like how having a show that we are both watching together so it's something we can just turn on at the end of the night and just have a little bit of quality time together so hopefully I get into it but I have a good feeling about it but I would love to know any show recommendations down below in the comments. I cannot remember the last time we sat down and watched a show. It has been months I feel. I just feel like we have been so busy and life is crazy and I've been reading a lot so TV's kind of taken a back burner in my free time time but like I said let me know if you have any good recommendations down below time and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this because now I dream about you I was probably too drunk it's blurry but I've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now and it could fade away but it probably won't and I should let it be but I'm gonna dive, dive into you And maybe I'll drown, but what can I do? And it would be alright to let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide So I'm gonna dive, dive into you It doesn't even make sense Why we try to fight it
Now that the room is clean, I am going to be making the bed. So I grabbed the sheets and the duvet cover out of the dryer and brought them up to get started on this. I really need to invest in a second bedding set for my bed. We only have the one set and it's just such a pain having to wash and dry and put back on in the same day. I know it's a very small thing, but I just think it would be a lot more convenient having two sets of sheets at least. To be caught up in the middle like this But I'm gonna die And the very last thing I was wanting to get done this day was mopping all of my hardwood floors. I do like to leave this for once my kids are in bed just because I feel like if I try and get this done during the day, someone slips and falls on the wet floors. It's pretty much a sure thing. So I do like to leave this for the end of the night once they are all sleeping. And there is something cozy and calming about mopping or vacuuming my floors once my kids are in bed. It's just kind of a peaceful way to end the evening. I ended up having a super productive day, so I did decide to treat myself. So Justin and I did order sushi in for dinner from our favorite sushi place. Once the kids had went to bed, we enjoyed the sushi and a glass of wine and watched an episode of Stranger Things. So we kind of had a date night in and it was the perfect end to a productive day. But I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you are new and I will see you all next Friday with a brand new video. Bye guys. Just